I'm Abigail Kirsten and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the strobing effect. This tutorial is hopefully going to be based mostly on drugstore products. It's going to be easy for you and I hope you learn something from it. So let's get started, shall we? So I'm going to be using the Aveeno moisturizer because I feel like this really sinks into your skin and it has an oatmeal ingredient inside of it. I also suggest if you are one of those girls that like the high-end products, I suggest you get La Mer. This one is kind of like a sample, but this also really sinks into your skin. But it is a little bit pricey, so I recommend that for moisturizer. So I'm just going to be applying that all over my skin. So now that I've applied all the moisturizer on my skin, I'm going to go on with the foundation. So I'm going to be using this... Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline in the number 220. I'm just going to put this all over my face using a Real Technique Multitask Brush. They're kind of like the Pixie Woo collection. I usually use the Clinique, but I want this tutorial to be a little bit more off a drugstore-based uh, tutorial. So, mo so, me me so basically, I want everyone to be able to afford it, I guess. I'm just going to be lightly putting that onto my skin and I'm not the type of person that likes um, heavy foundations I like them light so that's why I feel that Clinique and this are kind of like dupes for each other I guess. I guess and I'm actually not using a lot I've not tilted the foundation out I'm actually using what was on the rim and it actually has pretty good coverage and then I'm going to be taking it all the way down into my neck area if you feel like your foundation doesn't look that much exact as your chest because I have a variation in my skin so just bring it down and lightly brush it over not fully but just lightly I'm just using whatever is remaining on my brush for the chest area because I don't want a lot of foundation in my chest I do have smile lines so that's why I'm gonna be doing that part the last with, the, with, <laughs> with whatever is remaining on my brush So that is it for the foundation. So what's really disappointing is that I cannot find my age rewind under eye concealer but I am going to substitute it with another drugstore product and this is Maybelline by Maybelline New York. New York. Ugh. And this is by Maybelline New York in the color Sand Sable in the number 20. And I'm just going to be lightly applying it under my eyes. I'm not going to be too detailed with the under eye concealer. So I'm not going to do all crazy shapes or anything like that so as you can see I have very lightly applied it it's not very heavy or anything like that it looks heavy because it's really pigmented so that's why I really like this drugstore product it's similar to the NARS as well if you like purchasing high-end products NARS is like a good example of this so I'm gonna be using this synthetic brush to blend that all in it's from elf I live in Canada and I was kind of sad that Target closed down because they were like the only place I know over here that sells e.l.f. products and e.l.f. products are so damn affordable so I was like no. no! Why did you do that? I'll just touch up my under eye shadow later so next I'm going to be setting that so that there's no creasing or breakage over time as hours pass because I am going out after this. So I gotta be careful. So I'm going to be using the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush in the number E35. And this is a high-end product. I'm going to be using a Laura Mercier, what's it called? The Mineral Finishing Powder. It's like a translucent powder. So I'm going to be using that to just set the under eyes. I'm not going to just bake my face and do the whole of the area. It's going to just lightly put this underneath my eyes over here because I tend to crease over here don't know why I find land so just that that's like a thick layer if you can see and just let it remain there for some time for the rest of the setting of the concealer so that it doesn't break I'm gonna be using the Ben Nye banana powder it's it's kind of covered in things that my cousin did because I got this for my 21st birthday so she gave it to me so I'm not gonna remove it so I'm gonna be using that same brush dipping it in the powder and just applying it and brushing it over the concealed areas. This will just mattify it and basically let it stay throughout the day without without creasing or any problems like that. And I'm actually not taking too much, just a tad bit. So now that we've got the Laura Miss Mercier sitting for a while, we're just going to remove it with this brush, just brush it away. 
done. I am then going to be taking the Cat Von D. Cat Von D. I'm next going to be taking the Cat Von D. Fall for you, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. And none for Gretchen Wiener. Shade and light palette. This part is not necessary, but if you want little light your under eyes to be a little lighter, just go into this over here. It's similar to the banana, but a little bit lighter. And just brush it under your eyes. It just brightens everything up. I'm not going to be putting too much of that. Now we're going to go on to putting some blush. So I'm going to be using today the Sigma Large Powder Brush. Brush in the number F30. And I'm going to be using the, if I can find it. Where the hell is it? No, don't get lost. Ah, it was behind my bottom. So I'm going to be using, as I said for blush, the Annabelle blush and it's this nice natural pink color actually it looks dark but actually it's exactly the color of when your cheeks flush my cheeks don't flush so i have to use these things there's no number actually for it it's just in <laughs> french saying Bar de jouer, so let's go with that so i'm just going to be lightly putting that across my cheeks I'm also going to be taking that blush and putting it on my chin, the underneath of my nose, and slightly on my temple with whatever's left in the brush. Next, we're going to do the final step, which is the most important, and it is the highlighter, which is the complete reason why we're strobing, right? Right? Yeah. So I'm going to be using this product over here in the name... Ferrarushi, or as my cousin likes to say, <laughs> and I'm gonna be using that. It is not a common product you see all the time, but I went to Dubai and it got it is available in Dubai in the Middle East, and I love this product. So, this is like a paste form, so it's like a liquid form, it's not a powder form like the MAC skin finish or anything like that, the mineralized skin finish. So, you just apply this with your fingers. It has the pump over here, which I like. Where I'm gonna be putting this is on my cheekbones my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, above my eyebrows, which I've not seen a lot of people do, underneath my eyebrows, on my forehead, and on my chin over here. I know it may seem a little too much, but just look at how I'm doing it step by step and hopefully you can do it the same. Check that out. see that highlight so basically this is like the base and then I want to go over it one more time just to stack on that product and get the full potential of the highlight so I know this has become a trend and people are saying it's gonna overtake contouring which no, no, I don't think so but I have been been doing this strobing technique for a very long time in my life and then someone pointed it out on Instagram and I was like what's strobing and then after that they told me and I was like, whoa, I've been doing this all my life. I never knew they came up with a name for it. But if I may be truth truthful, I don't think it's going to overtake contouring. Contouring is like... It's your face on fleek. So you can see that highlight, I hope. Then I'm going to be putting that to the rest of my face as I said before. So for my highlight on my nose, I don't take it always to the bridge of my nose because I want my nose to look pointed out. So that's why I put it only over here to the highest point of the snub of my nose, I guess. And then I put it over here. Now I'm going to be putting on my cupid's bow. This also makes your lips look bigger by putting like a highlight on the cupid's bow. Now I'm not seeing many people do this but I like putting the highlight even under my lip. I'm going to be putting some on my forehead. If you do have a greasy forehead, I don't suggest you do this step. I'm going to be putting that on the underneath of my eyebrows as well. 
I'm also taking to the front of the underneath of my eyebrows. So one of the steps that I don't see a lot of people do is when they put their highlighter, I like to go right up from my highlighter into the corner top of my eyebrow like that. I'm not really seeing a lot of people do it, but personally I like doing it. And if you're at home and you try this, you'll actually see a lot of difference with doing this step. The next step is not mandatory. I personally like doing that. It makes your lips look bigger. Not that I need it, but for tutorial's sake. Put it on your lower lip. The next step is optional but I feel like because the face is so glowy that you want to probably do something for your chest area as well. So I like taking a little bit off that glow and just rub warming it up into my hands and applying to my collarbone, my neck bone over here, a little bit everywhere just to make everything really shiny and glossy. As you can see it gives that very shiny kind of glow to you and it's the summer who doesn't want to glow and next to finish this all up i'm going to be using my mac fixative spray fix plus and just spraying lightly all over my face if you want to have a high-end product or something that's more available in terms of highlighter i suggest the mac mineralized skin finish powder soft and gentle at least that is what is i use for my skin tone and i feel that's more of a general thing that you can use on fair skin dark skin brown skin arm brown skin Fingers. so if you want something like that go ahead and do it but it's a powder form it's not a liquid foam like this next i'm going to be playing up my eyes and that's just to bring out more of the strobing effect and i'm going to be using this drugstore product called essence it's an eyeshadow and it's called tickets paradise in the number 03 tropical heat it really is this lovely gold opalescent kind of tone and i'm just going to be putting a little fix plus in that i'm going to be taking the sigma pencil e30 and i'm going to just put be putting a little bit of my brush in there if you want you can also put the highlighter in the corner of your eyes instead of an eyeshadow and it'll be totally perfect i'm going to be putting that in the corner of my eyes that nice golden glow kind of thing i'm also going to be applying that onto the center of my lids just to give more of a glowy effect it's really like glistening now so that is how the eyeshadow and the highlight looks so this is the final look it was very simple and it can be done in five minutes don't worry it's just that when you do a tutorial it takes longer than that I made sure that all the products over here were more drugstore so it's affordable to everyone I will list all of the products down below and yeah don't forget to like share subscribe thumbs up if I didn't say that already and also follow me on my other social accounts which will be linked below which is Instagram, Twitter, Facebook yeah and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it and can use some of my tips as well keep requesting what you guys want to see next and I shall do it see you later guys bye I'm using natural lighting, so I hope the lighting is okay and the camera's in focus. Don't worry, you look beautiful, Abby. Aw, thank you. What? Who's talking? Who's talking? I'm oh talking, it's me. Oh look over here. I have a camera that can speak? Yes, I could speak all along. Whoa, that is one cool ca- My name is Jimmy. But you have a girl- Jimmy. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. You're forgiven.